Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Lost Reaction. This is uh, Season 4, Episode 7 and it's called... Okay, I'm not going to pronounce this right. <laughs> Ji Yun. Okay then. <laughs> we, know, we, we, we all know what episode it is. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's Korean, obviously. So, my... Amazing powers of deduction reasons that we're going to be dealing with something in Sun and Jin's corner of the plot. Ah, uh, in the last episode, I went on a bit of a ramble, and I've got to admit, some of the things I said in that ramble, I've kind of changed my mind slightly on, and I did make mistakes. Got caught up in the moment a little bit. I think we all know where the mistakes were. I don't think there's any need to highlight them at this stage. If it becomes important to backtrack, I will. Just as an example, I said Ben about being one of the Oceanic Six or not. Of course, he was never part of the flight. This is something I just... I got caught up in the moment. That is not to say that I wouldn't put it past Ben to pass himself off as one of the survivors. And with the fact that there's this lie about exactly what happened on the island since the crash, and the fact that there's a lot of powerful people that seem to be trying to protect that lie, that would definitely make it easier for Ben to pass himself off as one of the survivors assumed a name etc it's not as if he hasn't done that before but you're right at the time i wasn't thinking that i was just thinking wrongly right let's move on to this uh right last episode last episode the other woman uh another backstory juliet's backstory this time that's two episodes in a row where we've had a backstory rather than a future story I really hope they're not dropping the flash forward format just yet. There's still answers I want from that future. Um, admittedly, we could get those answers from the present story. We just have to wait for the present to catch up with the future. But somehow I don't think they've dropped that, that format just yet. So anyway, yeah, last episode we had Juliet's relationship with Goodwin. Yeah, not a backstory I particularly was hankering after. It was interesting. Also, Charlotte and Daniel and the whole ship thing. Now, we know it's uh, Charles Widmore's ship. And we know why, where he's got the information about the island from, from the journal. I'd like to know how he knew to bid on that journal. How he... He must have had some sort of advanced knowledge that that journal was important. But that's beside the point. Right. The point I was trying to make was... Ben has an ally on the ship. Now, at first we're told that the ship is here to kill everybody. I'm not so sure now. It's becoming harder and harder to work out who the bad guys actually are. If there is any bad guys at all. There might be just three, four groups of good guys. All just getting in each other's way. <laughs> ben is absolutely the sort of person that would commit mass genocide. And suicide probably. In order to protect his secrets. And he has many 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 secrets in fact he's got so many secrets we don't even know how many secrets he's got we've uncovered a few although we haven't uncovered the truth behind them we know he's lying about some things but quite how deep that rabbit hole goes we have yet to find out okay let's uh I'm, I'm not doing a very good job of getting my thoughts articulated. I might have to wait. 
a couple of uh, an episode or two before my head is completely in the right place. Gion, I have no idea what that means because I'm reading an anglicised version of the original Korean and the meaning would change depending on what characters are used. So it's I think it's a feminine name. I think it's a positive word, words, phrase. Oh, we're going back to the boat. I didn't think we were going to go back here for a while. I'm going to have to deal with Desmond. Regina. Right. Oh, you're Regina. I didn't hear you. Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. The captain wanted me to bring these guys somewhere up. Okay. One day, let's talk about baby names. <laughs> We're getting better. Oh, are they going to call their baby? When machine? Okay, are we in past or the present or the future? No, we aren't in the present, are we? We're in the past or the future? Baby stew, baby stew. They're in the future. Damn, that means they went back to Korea. That means Jin would be found. I thought maybe if she got off the island, she'd be all right. Has the island already affected her, baby? Does that mean Jin is working for Mr. Pake again? <laughs> It's to buy a birth gift. In all the time they've been here, they've talked about a lot of things. They haven't talked about involved rescuing us. No, that's right. God, the seeds of doubt ev everywhere. It's so hard to know what's the right course of action. What's that? That's from your ally or Ben's ally, which might not necessarily be your ally. <laughs> Don't trust the captain. Rude. Oh, I think fate is uh, conspiring to screw over Jin. And someone's just nicked his panda. Yeah, that's not... You're the dragon? That's 2012. Jen. Your wife had an affair. Juliet was with another man. Why would you do that? She thought the baby was his. Well, you've just made an enemy of son. There was no need for that. I can't. Oh, wow. That. I don't, I don't get why Juliet did that. She says it's this place. The island. 
But when the camp split up, I was sure that she'd want to go with Locke. Why would she want to leave the island and risk getting sick again? She didn't say she wanted to leave the island. She just said she didn't want to go with Locke. Jake, because it was the right thing to do. Locke, he's a murderer. What the hell? She just jumped! It's over. She's gone. Everybody get back to your posts. That was an order. Oh, so you're the captain. I suppose you two have a few questions. Um, yeah, a couple. A couple, one or two. Or five, or nine. So, what can I do for you? Hundred. I didn't jump in, or order my crew to jump in. Because I didn't want to lose any more people. Mm, no. What's going on here? Some of my crew have been dealing with what might best be described as a heightened case of cabin fever. Why? It's got something to do with the close proximity of the island. Why don't you turn around then? I've tried. But we have a saboteur on board, and he's done one hell of a job on my engines. I've a salvage vessel recovered it from the bottom of the ocean. It took a considerable amount of Mr. Whitmore's resources to procure it. It was found with the wreckage of the plane, along with all 324 dead passengers. That's not a complete story, as you are well aware, Mr. Gerard, given the fact that you're standing here, breathing. Are they in a parallel world? The wreckage was obviously staged. Oh, okay. Go for that. What kind of? Where exactly does one come across three hundred twenty-four dead bodies? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. And that, Mr. Gerard, Mr. Hugh, is just one of the many reasons we want Benjamin Linus. Okay, then. I think the um, I think Ben saboteur, Ben spy, is not their friend. And we should be trusting the guys on the boat. <laughs> oh dear, right, gotta get. Gotta do it now. Uh, Jim was just too late. <laughs> this ship isn't moving. Well, if you say so. Huh? Uh. I uh. should still be there. Damn it. You knew it was there. You're hey, showing him for a reason. You. Here's your spy. There's Ben Spy. Johnson. What do you look like? Michael! Nice to meet you, Kevin. Hello. <laughs> Uh, it's not on the way to his own child's birth. Oh, I see. He's missed the birth of his own child for that. Oh my god, it's the past! Eh? No, it can't be. 
What the hell's going on? Go see him. Uh, is Jin's dead? Jin's dead. My, yeah, it does seem that way. It's got all the. What? Okay, then, they managed to present past, present, and future in the same episode. That completely threw me. Okay, it seemed like a fairly simple episode to start with. And then we got the revelation that uh, we was actually watching past, present and future, all in the same episode, just to complicate matters even more. And it kind of did a number on my brain there. And it's whacked all my thoughts out of, out of whack. Whacked them out of whack. So, we get to meet Son's baby. And we get to find out that Jin is not one of the Oceanic Six. He didn't survive, didn't survive the island. Or has been written off. Maybe he's still on the island. But he's, for want of a better word, dead. I mean, we don't know whether the other people, other than the Six survived or not but you know the lie is that they all died and it was only those six that survived so yeah Jin is one of them so the six we've got five of the six now Saeed Jack Kate Hugo and Son it looks like Charles Widmore is the uh the one behind everything that's going on at the moment. Seems that Charles Widmore is the one that faked the plane wreckage and he seems to be the one that has financed its rescue or recovery. But as the captain said, where did he find all those bodies? How far does Charles Widmore go in his in his quest? And what was the thing with um, that girl? Putting all chains around her and then falling in the ocean. What's what's going on there? It seems the island has a uh, different effects on different people. And is is that what Rousseau described her her crew going like all those years ago? Michael Michael is posing as Kevin Johnson, a janitor. He's obviously the spy, Ben's spy. Can we trust him? Uh, we couldn't before, so I don't see any reason why we could, should trust him now. But why is he back? That's the point. Did he ever get rescued and why did he come back? And how did he get into Charles Widmore's employee? How did he get on the ship? What's the story there? I suppose we'd have to wait and find out, but they can't throw Michael back into the show after we haven't seen him all of last season. So you can't disappear a character for an entire season, then bring them back and not explain it. So hopefully we're gonna get we're gonna get a Michael story and find out what happened to him. And what about Walt as well? Where's Walt? I really don't know. It seems like a filler episode to me. Kind of. As close as we can get to a filler episode. Um, with the seasons being shorter and with a, a much clearer idea of where we're heading. You know, the writers as well as us. I don't think we're going to get that many filler episodes. But I think that was as close as we're going to get to one. Uh, still not bad. I, I like Sun. I like Jin as characters. There, there, and 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 Jin. We, we we got to see a little bit of his humour again, where um, his taxi and his panda got stolen, and his mobile phone got broken, and ah, uh, that should have been that should have been a clue that we was in the past. Jin's mobile phone was antiquated. That should have been a clue. I should, uh, 
Oh well. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, keep well, keep safe. Bye bye.